Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It is after the close, about 4.30 p.m. on August 22nd, 2012. We're going to use time-honored techniques to try to understand these modern markets. And this is a feature daily technical analysis video of the S&P 500 Index. Uh, before we get started, just want to remind you that the website and the video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research, and you need to make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. Let's take a look. Okay, we are looking at a 30-minute uh, chart, and uh, today I would like to uh, uh, tell you that I know exactly where the markets are headed for the next two to three weeks, uh, both in short term and mid term. I'd like to be able to tell you that. Mm, and I would also, um, well, I'd like to meet Rachel McAdams. But uh, I cannot do either of those things. So we're just going to look at it, try to, try to make the best sense out of what's going on as we can. And that's going to require that we take a, a little bit of a fresh look at a couple of things here. I'm going to leave this down here. Um, but the markets are definitely getting kind of extended and looking kind of funky. Um, and I don't think it's a good kind of funkiness. I think it's a which way do we go from here kind of funkiness. I've, I've said for the past week or so, watch this red line. When it breaks, it would likely signal um, the beginning of a downward leg. We did indeed break that, but just for a portion of the day, between here and here, and the market managed for some reason to rally uh, off that 1407 and uh, and pretty and gain back a pretty quick nine points to settle back just a bit. Um, I want to uh, let you know it appears to me that this move right here may be a little bit of a it might be a signal of a slight blow off top. You can see that I've added a new little channel to this chart here in blue that once we were going sideways we took off at a, at a, a more aggressive pitch and I think we can I think we can uh, pretty comfortable with making that call a touch here 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 and there and once we got up to that uh, 1426 ish mark um, the markets sold back you know, a, a fairly good amount. I mean, it's not a catastrophic, catastrophic move down, and the the uh, the move today under this red line, if I can get it to highlight, was marked with a recovery that made about the same distance over this little blue line. You can see that when the mark when the S and P got over this blue line, it pulled back and then took off. Um, kind of interesting if we draw our little target line here from the first reactive move in this little pattern and we move that to the point of the breakout which would be right here that's about where the market went maybe missed by just a fraction of a point so maybe what we were dealing with for these uh, eight or nine days wasn't so much a rising wedge as I kind of thought as it was a little consolidation pattern that uh, that just kind of gave us a little bit of a fake out on the shape of it so this looks to be like it was a little little consolidation once we got over that then we knew to expect at least some kind of halfway decent move and even though I did not call this at the time in retrospect I think we can I think we can say that that's 
that's what took place here. But the real question is, when is the next downward leg going to start? This may have been a shot across the bow today. This, this was some pretty clear weakness. And the uh, rally back here, if again, if we look at this as a channel between these darker blue lines, then we may be setting up for a back test of that line right there. And then if that were to, uh, if we were to get up to that level and start to back off again, then my hunch is we would take out this red line uh, on, on a trip down from a back test of this uh, um, broken support line that I'm highlighting right now. Folks, I got to tell you, and, and if you followed me for a while, you will know that there have been times when the markets have just been really pretty easy to read. Um, now is not one of those times. So I personally am staying ready. I am not ready to jump in at these levels. Um, I've got a couple stocks that are precious metals related that that I think if if we uh, if we get an, another round of quantitative easing may do fairly well. But um, right now, just as far as the chart is concerned, it really doesn't look extremely clear. I mean, what do you see here? You just see a gap up. And then just this kind of strangely zombie-like rise taking place over the past two and a half weeks. And while I keep waiting for this line to break right here, the market just seems to go, no, I'm not going to do that yet. Not going to do that yet. So, uh, guys, that's about all I got to offer. I can tell you again to reiterate some uh, some resistance levels that I think we would uh, meet. I now think this line would be resistance, this blue line right here. We are back uh, once again under the uh, old neckline from our head and shoulders top. And uh, essentially for the past, uh, what, two, week, two weeks and a fraction of a day, we're, we're really, what, three points higher than we were back two weeks ago. So uh, I don't feel as if I've really missed anything by being in cash here. And I suspect that uh, that, that is, for, at least I feel for me, that is that is the wise de decision at this point. You know, the markets could make it on up to this uh, 1444 line. And to remind you again what that is, if we, if we zoom out here to a, uh, well, a one-day chart, we'll do it. If we go to a one-day chart, that is a line that is drawn over the head and shoulders top of 2011 and the head and shoulders top of 2012. Um, I'm just thinking that that should uh, act as, as uh, some, some uh, decent resistance. If it doesn't, if we get up over that, let's say we break out up, up to uh, 1475 and then pull back, I would, uh, you know, I'd, I'd probably have to go along there. But as long as we're under this line right here, being so close to it, like I said yesterday, I personally cannot be excited about a long position anywhere near here. We've either got to come back to and, 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 and shed 100 points, 80 to 100 points or so, for me to be interested in a long position, or we've got to rally up significantly to show that this market really has legs and that it's bound and determined to get on up to this uh, 1600 level. For right now, I'm just playing it kind of cool, watching it, and, uh, and uh, of course you do what you have to do. I'm just going to try to remain as objective as I can. And part of that objectivity is to, is to be honest in, in, in admitting that it's it is a tough read right now it really is and uh, I've seen this before you've seen it before I don't want to make any bold prognostications at all but uh, you know maybe this line up here gives us a little help let's make it um, 
Let's just make it a bright green. There we go. Maybe we're getting a kind of a some kind of a little broadening thing going on here, but uh, my my feeling is is that uh, we really we really need to come off th this last two and a half weeks after that gap up. I think we need to come back down and at least test some support in the 1380s. Uh, possibly even come on down and test this little bit to lower support line that would be uh, probably, it, if, if it happens, it would be about 10 points lower than that. So guys, that is the video for today. Uh, again, you know, I, I kind of apologize. I wish I could say we have a very clear pattern and we have a very clear expectation. The fact of the matter is, I just don't see it. So uh, until we get something that has a little bit more clarity, I don't want to make stuff up on the fly. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll just to reiterate that, that maybe this red line is still what we need to be cued in on. Okay? So if you're long, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I am long a few stocks, and I'm going to stay long until this line breaks. And then I'm going to take a look at my stocks, and if they're being contrary to the market, I'll hang on to them uh, because they're, they're a little bit different, different holdings. So look, there's the line I'm watching. You do what you need to do, but I'm watching this line. If that breaks and, and, and breaks with a close under that line, which we did not get today, then I'm thinking... There's your signal that we are now starting a leg down. Okay? So, guys, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you're not a subscriber, I'll thank you in advance for just thinking about it. Thanks.